This expansive road materialized along the coastline of Sakhalin Island. The mysterious photographs quickly led to the emergence of various theories regarding a potential lost civilization. A massive stone road suddenly appeared on the shores of Sakhalin Island. Although it was only visible for a brief period of time, it attracted enough attention for hundreds of photographs to be captured. The unexpected appearance startled the residents of the island, and many of them said that the mysterious road appeared out of nowhere. Sakhalin Island is situated in the Ring of Fire, an area renowned for its significant subduction zones. This accounts for the frequent occurrence of intense seismic and volcanic activity on the island. It shares its southern border with Japanese islands. It is important to note that certain individuals who question the origin of these enigmatic structures argue that a natural cause is the most plausible explanation. However, it should be acknowledged that while this explanation may account for their formation, it does not provide insight into their actual creation. The massive road can be observed to bear a striking resemblance to those constructed by ancient civilizations. But it has been noticeably weathered by the relentless force of the sea. Therefore, numerous individuals have expressed the desire for a comprehensive geological or archaeological examination to be conducted on this enigmatic formation. It is important to mention that in close proximity to that location, along the coast of Japan, there exist enigmatic underwater structures known as Yonaguni. Various researchers have suggested that these submerged structures are associated with the mysterious civilization known as Mu. The expansive highway running along the coastline of Sakhalin bears a striking resemblance to the well-known Bimini Road, which is believed to be the remnants of the mythical Atlantis discovered in the Caribbean Sea. The colossal highway remains shrouded in mystery, with limited information available regarding its nature, except for its remarkable and transitory existence. The allure of the oceans has always captivated human imagination, offering sustenance, exploration and trade routes to countless civilizations throughout history. However, beneath the depths lies a profound mystery. The ocean's relentless advance has claimed numerous ancient civilizations, swallowing their cities, cultures and stories into its abyss. The history of humanity is replete with examples of thriving civilizations that flourished along coastlines, deltas and rivers, only to be engulfed by the rising tides. The lost city of Atlantis, a legendary civilization described by Plato, has intrigued scholars for centuries. Although its existence remains disputed, the narrative underscores the fascination with the concept of a magnificent civilization consumed by the sea. Natural disasters, shifting tectonic plates and rising sea levels have all played pivotal roles in the submersion of ancient civilizations. The destruction wrought by earthquakes and tsunamis can erase entire coastal communities from the face of the earth. The Minoan civilization, centered on the island of Crete, is an illustrative example. Around 1600 BCE, the cataclysmic eruption of the Thera volcano generated tsunamis that devastated Minoan settlements and contributed to the civilization's decline. Additionally, the inexorable rise of sea levels due to melting ice caps and climate change poses a contemporary threat. The sunken city of Pavlopetri, located off the coast of Greece, serves as a stark reminder of this phenomenon. Submerged around 1000 BCE, the ruins offer insights into early urban planning and societal organization, while also sounding a warning about the environmental challenges faced by modern coastal communities. The stories of these submerged civilizations resonate with profound lessons that extend beyond their historical contexts. They underscore the impermanence of human achievements and the vulnerability of even the most advanced societies in the face of natural forces. The oceans, which once nurtured and sustained these civilizations, now serve as repositories of their memory, reminding us of the transitory nature of human endeavors. Advancements in technology have revolutionized our ability to explore and document the submerged remnants of ancient civilizations. Underwater archaeology, remote sensing techniques, and robotic exploration tools have allowed researchers to delve into the depths and unearth treasures hidden beneath the waves. These discoveries enrich our understanding of history and culture, while offering opportunities for interdisciplinary collaboration between archaeologists, oceanographers, and environmental scientists.
Across cultures and civilizations, tales of a catastrophic deluge have been woven into the fabric of human history, leaving an indelible mark on our collective consciousness. From the Epic of Gilgamesh to the biblical story of Noah's Ark, the theme of a great flood that engulfs the world and reshapes humanity's destiny transcends time and geography. The great flood narrative is not confined to a single culture. Instead, it emerges as a universal motif that spans the globe. The Epic of Gilgamesh, one of the earliest known works of literature from ancient Mesopotamia, recounts the story of a catastrophic flood, unleashed by the gods, to punish humanity's transgressions. The tale of Utnapishtim, a survivor of the flood, mirrors the biblical account of Noah's Ark, where a chosen family and pairs of animals are saved from the waters. In Indian mythology, the Matsya Purana recounts the story of King Manu, who is warned of an impending flood by a fish, which later transforms into a giant fish to save him and the world's creatures. Similarly, in the Native American tradition, the Hopi people share stories of the Great Deluge, describing how they were led to safety on the back of a turtle. These diverse flood narratives reflect the human impulse to grapple with questions of mortality, divine intervention, and the cyclical nature of existence. The universality of the theme suggests that, despite vast geographical distances and cultural differences, societies sought to explain the unfathomable forces of nature and their own place within the cosmos. The Great Flood narrative often serves as a moral lesson, reminding humanity of the consequences of hubris and the need for humility and respect for the natural world. It encapsulates a collective fear of the uncontrollable, a reverence for the power of the elements and a desire for salvation and renewal. While the Great Flood narrative is deeply rooted in mythology and cultural memory, scientific investigations have sought to uncover the kernels of truth that might underlie these stories. Geological evidence suggests that catastrophic floods did occur in various regions throughout history, often resulting from the melting of glaciers, the collapse of natural dams, or tsunamis triggered by seismic events. One of the most notable examples is the flooding of the Black Sea around 7,000 years ago, which may have inspired some of the flood narratives in the region. The Mediterranean Sea once breached the natural barrier, inundating the basin and creating a dramatic flood that could have been etched into local memory and passed down through generations. The Great Flood narrative continues to resonate in modern times, offering insights into the human capacity to grapple with uncertainty and change. These narratives also prompt us to consider the ethical and moral dimensions of our relationship with the environment. They encourage us to reflect on our responsibility as stewards of the earth and the consequences of heedless exploitation of natural resources the recurring motif of a catastrophic deluge transcends time and geography, permeating the myths and legends of numerous ancient civilizations. The Great Flood narrative holds a profound cultural significance, often serving as a foundation for a civilization's creation myths and religious beliefs. Many ancient societies attached divine meaning to the concept of a flood, using it as a backdrop to explain the origins of humanity, the gods' interactions with mortals, and the cyclical nature of life and death. The universality of the flood narrative could stem from a shared human experience of facing natural calamities, creating an empathetic bridge across cultures. Floods are among the most devastating of natural disasters, leaving a lasting imprint on societies that experienced them. The documentation of the Great Flood may have been a way for ancient civilizations to cope with the fear and trauma associated with such events by imbuing them with meaning and purpose. The documentation of the Great Flood could also be rooted in the environmental realities faced by these civilizations. Many ancient settlements were situated near rivers, lakes or coastlines, making them vulnerable to flooding. As communities were periodically ravaged by deluges, the experiences of witnessing the destruction and struggling for survival would have etched themselves into the collective memory. Over time, these experiences might have been elaborated upon and integrated into cultural narratives, serving as cautionary tales that reinforce the importance of respecting natural boundaries. The documentation of the Great Flood by so many ancient civilizations offers a window into the intricate interplay of culture, psychology, environment and shared experience. 
The universality of the flood narrative demonstrates the profound ways in which humans grapple with the mysteries of existence, our relationship with nature, and the enduring quest for meaning in a complex and unpredictable world. The tapestry of human history is a rich and intricate narrative that spans millennia, shaping the course of civilization as we know it. However, a staggering revelation casts a shadow over our understanding of the past. Approximately 98% of human history remains shrouded in obscurity, hidden beneath the veil of time. The vast majority of human history rests in the realm of the unknown, existing only as fragmented whispers in the archaeological record and speculative theories. Our comprehension of the ancient world is primarily derived from artifacts, ruins and inscriptions, but these remnants often offer mere glimpses into the cultures, societies and events that defined the lives of our distant ancestors. The scarcity of written records, the perishable nature of materials, and the ravages of time have collectively conspired to obscure the intricate narratives of countless civilizations. Several factors contribute to the immense historical gaps that mark our understanding of the past. One of the most significant challenges lies in the lack of written records from pre-literate societies. In the absence of written language, Societies relied on oral traditions to pass down their knowledge and stories, leaving little trace for modern historians to decipher. Moreover, the materials used for early writing were often perishable, such as papyrus or wood, rendering them susceptible to decay over time. Natural disasters and conflict have also played a pivotal role in erasing entire chapters of human history. Cataclysmic events like volcanic eruptions, earthquakes and floods have submerged ancient settlements and destroyed valuable records. Additionally, the deliberate destruction of cultural heritage during times of conflict or conquest has further contributed to the loss of historical knowledge. The scarcity of historical information carries profound implications for our understanding of human development, societal evolution and cultural dynamics. The missing epochs leave us bereft of insights into the complexities of governance, technology belief systems, and artistic expression that shaped the trajectory of humanity. The lost civilizations could hold the keys to understanding the roots of modern societal challenges and the solutions that were developed and subsequently forgotten. Furthermore, the absence of this vast historical wealth deprives us of a sense of continuity and connection with our distant past. It is akin to a jigsaw puzzle with innumerable missing pieces leaving gaps in our collective identity and understanding of where we come from. So, what do you make of this mysterious discovery? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.